So just a brief look at a range of tools that you might be using within your basketry. Over here we have a weight to weigh down the inside of our basket. This is roughly the same weight as a bag of sugar, uh, roughly the same size as well, but it could be anything like a house brick, uh, or it could be a big pebble from the beach, whatever you have to hand. If it's waterproof, even better. We've got two lots of secateurs down here. We've got the parrot beak secateurs and the snipe nose. You'd use the parrot beak for slightly thicker rods to cut and you'd use the snipe nose for slightly thinner. We also have a peg. Peg's quite handy for marking where you've been up to in a weave and also for holding the weave if you need to go off and do something else. We have a wrapping iron here and my wrapping iron has got a little bit of inner tube on the bottom of it. I put that inner tube on there so that when I'm wrapping my willow down, I'm not marking it. Bit of a specialist tool, if you haven't got one of those, you could substitute that with a stick and a hammer. The stick is the bit that you would put inside and you would bash down with the hammer and this protects your willow from being marked by the metal of the hammer. We've also got here a rubber band and it's a toggle that's onto a little piece of willow. Great for holding things together or for tying things up. A range of bodkins, three different sizes, and you would select the width of the bodkin for the willow that you're using, so small, medium and large. I find a pair of pliers handy. If you're stuck and you can't pull something through or you need to move something out of the way or particularly when you're bordering, it gives you that extra bit of grip. And the all-important pot of tallow. That's used for lubricating your bodkins or lubricating your rod if you're finding it difficult to insert them into your basket. Mm -hmm.